Welcome to the ITU studio here at the World's Telecommunications Development Conference here in Kigali, Rwanda, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mohamed Ibrahim, who is a former telecommunications minister for Somalia uh, and is now at Swinburne University doing uh, excellent research there. Mohamed, welcome to the studio. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. I'd like to start off by asking you about a little bit about the, the significance uh, of uh, this being uh, uh, the first uh, ITU WTDC event in Africa since uh, the formation of uh, the Telecommunication Development Bureau at ITU. Why is this significant? I think this is very important. It's almost a historical moment. I remember last time perhaps we were in Buenos Aires uh, 2017. I always wanted one day the ITU WTCD to come to Africa. So finally we're here. So I decided to fly all the way from Melbourne to come here and be part of that historical moment. So I hope from now onwards we will see more ITU activities in the continent. Excellent. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing in, 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 at Swinburne University in Melbourne? Oh, okay. Well, I, uh, after my stint in politics, I went back to academia and I'm now looking into mobile money and its impact on financial inclusion in developing countries, specifically Somalia. That was an area that I always liked. I'm more interested in digital currencies and currencies and anything digital for that matter. So there's a hype in the world about how mobile money can solve the financial inclusion in the developing countries. So I'm a contrarian. I'm trying to say, well, maybe it will. On the other hand, there's a lot more work to be done before we can get into financial inclusion for all. So that's really my area of interest in these days, and I'm looking into this very closely. So cash is still king in Somalia? No, not anymore. In fact, Somalia is way, way ahead. But, but the issue, though, and all along, what I was always arguing and I was trying to point out, it's also something that we need to be very, very careful. There is a role for government. The idea is, yes, mobile money can work like what it, it did in Mombasa and so on, but without regulation and making sure that those who are using are protected, the citizens, it can have its own problems. So that's really the area I'm looking at. How do you make sure that the technology works, but it's also safe and secure for all who are using it? Let's talk about the African continent. How do you think that Africa can catch up in, in the technology sector, uh, financial inclusion, and, and, uh, and what role does uh, ITU, do you think, have uh, to play in this area? Interesting question. The thing is, there are a lot of countries in Africa that are now leading. They're, they're moving very fast and, and, and developing their ICT sector. But the trouble is, and I was trying to talk to my politicians here and other African politicians, if you're competing, the idea is to win, you have to go faster than your competitor. But even if you're moving 5% fast and your competitor is moving 15% more, you're still behind. So yes, we're doing well, we're moving fast, but our competitors are also moving a lot faster. So we really need to catch up. But having said that, I'm very happy to see a place like Kigali that I can use technology just as I am in Melbourne or anywhere else in the world for that matter. So yes, we're moving very fast, but we have to move just a little bit, bit more so that we can catch up and move ahead. When I say Africa, it's obviously this is a, a very, very huge uh, land mass here and obviously with all sorts of different uh, contrasts. Uh, but I wanted to ask you, digital inclusion perhaps is a difficult question, but digital inclusion, will Africa be there soon? Well, that, that is the tough question. The issue is, as you said, Africa, 54 countries, and there are some that are way ahead. But on the other hand, really, we need the, the tide to lift all the boats. We need everyone to move up. So by having few way ahead and the rest far behind, that's not good enough. And that's the whole idea. The theme here is we're trying to say connectivity to all. You know, words, no one is left behind. And that's really the challenge. Having said that, I think we're almost there. We're not there, but we will. And, and I'm very, very optimistic. I always was, if, if you remember all those years we were talking. And even more so now, I can almost see the, the light at the end of the tunnel that we, we will we'll, we'll get there. Next to all, Mohamed Ibrahim, it's been a pleasure seeing you again here um, in your academic.